Well, hello there. Welcome to an episode of Toy Topics. This is where I just speak my mind on action figure related topics since I really can't do that during my reviews. So let's try not to be soft and sensitive jazz collectors. This is just my opinion, how I feel about certain things. And you can share how you feel as well in the comments below. I read and I like every single one as long as you're not insulting or attacking anyone. And I reply as much as I can. I'm not here to change how anyone feels. I'm just speaking about how I feel. It's a wonderful time to collect these toys. A wonderful time to collect and enjoy. But if we look into my mind, what toy topics will we find? What is going on, everybody? Articulated Ninja here. Shout out to everybody that DM'd me and added me and was in comments and tagging me and because they wanted to know what I thought about the HasLab project. Um, I just wanted to really sit in my thoughts about it. So when I first saw it, I actually thought that it was good. I saw more positives than negatives, but I said, let me give it some time and let me think about it some more. Then when I saw it again, <laughs> I still thought more positive than negatives. So overall, I do think it is a good offering at a decent price. I, I wish the price was a little bit lower. I don't like 275, but um, the base figure is included. So it makes me say, like I always say, which is sure, Valiverse, McFarlane, some of the companies do make Hasbro look bad at times, but the biggest person that makes Hasbro look bad is Hasbro. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> and it's funny because anybody that still talks about the engine of vengeance, including myself, gets shamed. Like, oh, you're still bringing it up. Yeah, I'm still bringing it up because a lot of you guys that said it was a good offering feel f stupid now. So, yeah, like, of course, I'm going to bring it up because you just want to sweep it under the rug. How dumb your conclusion was on that overall project. It was f horrible. You know, no facts. But hey, everybody that said the HasLab was overall a good offering, your perceived value was off way off not not close to target at all your perceived value meter needs to be checked <laughs> now i'm not talking about the people that said hey the price is high it's ridiculous but i'm still gonna get it because i love the car and i love the character i'm not talking about those guys i say all the time it sucks they didn't get their dream car i'm talking about the guys that said hey the price is kind of high but i still think overall it's good yeah how you feeling about that now man <laughs> first it was mcfarland and now this i could get a whole helicopter with four figures a ton of accessories flight stand all that stuff it has lights for considerably less than a car that's like half the size of this come on man so yeah it was just this was just a good representation to me that the same guys that said yeah well the engine of engines is kind of high in price nah man you got to get your perceived value meters checked it wasn't kind of high it was ridiculous it was way too much um <laughs> and this shows that blame the licensing and the royalties blame that stuff if you want to but man i could get a 34 inch helicopter for 275 with figures you know has lab guys they love to throw in the figures so now throw in four figures you know since you guys want to be so quick to throw in figures i'm only throwing in one because that's the base offering but everybody that defended has lab throw in the four figures here the four unlocks that they're basically going to get with this funded in 24 hours so four figures and one 34 inch long vehicle an aerial vehicle for 275 hasbro makes hasbro look bad it's it's so crazy like it's wild and i said june was gonna be a big month i didn't think this project was gonna be this good like even when it comes to the unlocks like i feel like some of the things that are included in this base project had to be unlocked when it came to the his tank which was total bs and i i, I was struggling because i'm like do i really want to feed the beast i don't want to order this thing like but it does look really nice it looks like i would be happy with it it is kind of big but that's fine you know that's what she says and then my bro sure hits me up and he's like yo i backed you one man and i'm like god damn <laughs> you know i'm gonna get back to you in some type of way but i appreciate it because i just i feel guilty participating in crowdfunding when it comes to uh the biggest toy company in the world because it, it shouldn't be a thing you know what i'm saying like it absolutely shouldn't be a thing unless like i stated it's for absolute dream projects and that's just one of my negatives with this is i don't feel like this helicopter had to be crowdfunded i feel like this could be a retail project man they didn't need to do this type of crowdfunding rollout with it you know just so they can gain more overall so my only two negatives is that it had to be crowdfunded and once again this is an army building vehicle and then two it bothers me so much they're taking more 
money from people without even delivering on their first product. And that's what I explained before. Like, I'm happy this is successful. I'm happy that it looks good. But at the end of the day, like, I didn't back the His Tank, though I did think it looked beautiful because I didn't want to contribute to crowdfunding with the biggest toy company in the world. But just because I didn't spend money on the His Tank, it doesn't matter. I'm still bothered that my brother did spend money on a His Tank and now they're getting more money out of him before delivering the His Tank first. Why does he not have his His Tank before you're charging his card again for another product? That is kind of wild. And we're not talking about a 50, 60 or $70 action figure. We're not talking about a pre-order for a $100 action figure. We're talking about hundreds of dollars, bro. Like. This is, the, this is the whole greed factor, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, God damn, you don't even deliver the first product before you're shoving another product in people's faces trying to take more money from them. Yo, get the first product in hand first. Get that His Tank out so people can see the quality of a classified HasLab product before you ask them for more money because the treads could be messed up. There's a million things that can go wrong with that His Tank to make people cautious about this. The same thing happened with the Sentinel's knees, so then they had to prove that the knees on Galactus was better. They don't have to prove anything here. Why? Because they're just taking and taking more without giving anything. And that, that to me is kind of wild. And that, that's what's shady to me here on top of the whole crowdfunding thing that I'm never going to be or feel okay about. It's just shady to me. Like, I just feel like they're trying to hide something or a QC issue. This is not a Sky Striker. This is a declassified line. And the Sky Striker had its own issues. So it's like, hey, before you guys get to see any issues that the His Tank may have, give us some more money. That is wild, man. And I see a lot of I see a lot of content creators saying, hey, it looks great. It's amazing. And I'm saying that, too. It looks great. It's amazing. Um, I know I like the price because if I deduct twenty five dollars or 40 bucks from the price. I really love the price. So I'm not that much against the price to 275. Sure, I wish it was lower, but if I deduct 40 bucks all of a sudden, I feel good about it. So the price can't be that bad when it's just $40 I need to deduct in my mind. Everybody's saying it looks good. I'm saying it looks good too, but I don't hear nobody talking about the fact that where is our his tank where is the first product before you take more money from us like that shit is wild bro like and that's i guess that's where the whole greed thing kicks into play shit it's not even a part of emily and lenny's script to talk about why the his tank isn't in people's hands before they ask for more money like they're just not acknowledging it they don't want to speak on that shit but um overall it looks great every figure that i see that they reveal for this looks amazing shout out to the engine and greed guys that wanted to bake in all the imaginary figures here. The base offering was so good. Nobody needed to throw in all the other figures to justify the initial asking price and the base offering. And that's how it should be done. Hence why they funded in 24 hours, basically. And I said from the door that that McFarlane bat plane was way too much money. So I settled with my little Spin Master $40 one. But it's like, sheesh, man, that, that thing didn't come with lights. It didn't come with multiple figures. It didn't come with accessories. And, and that shit was $250. And for $25 more, look at everything you get here with this vehicle. So yeah, I'm, I'm a 1 million percent happy that I passed on that bat plane. I still think the $60 Batmobile was a good deal. Just specifically for what it was a batmobile a vehicle for 60 bucks on the shelves i think that's great but that 250 man i'm just happy i did not go for that and i settled with my little 40 dollars spin master because look at everything that you're getting here for 275 mcfarlane made them look bad now they made mcfarlane look bad it's, it's always going back and forth man but but i will continue to say that hasbro makes hasbro look bad more than anybody else the success of the classified line really points out the greed in the legends line for all the legends fan that always want to defend hasbro's legends department and what the the legends team does and how they choose to roll things out i'm not blaming the faces that we see but obviously someone that's in charge of the legends team they need to be fired they need to be let go of and this just shines a light on it the success of the classified line shines a light on how shitty things are over on the legends team and to think in less than a week in less than a week we're going to be able to put a price on that valiverse truck based on the comments from my videos everybody's saying if it's around 180 to 200 dollars they will be happy with it they won't be happy with more than 200 bucks so we're gonna get we're gonna be able to put a price on that baby in less than a week i am excited because i want to see what he's going to be able to pull off because that is a company that does try to be for the consumer at least 10 times more than Hasbro does. So if Hasbro is giving us this, I can't wait to see what Valiverse is going to give us as far as a land vehicle is concerned. This is going to be big, man. It's going to be beautiful. I like this a lot, man. And if you like it, I love it. Hey, 
I'm, I'm glad for the success of this project. I'm glad that it was an aerial vehicle. And um, I can't wait to see what the rest of the unlocks are. But either way, man, one of these will be on my channel. A review of this helicopter will definitely be on my channel. Well, that's about all the thoughts I have on today's topic. And until the next episode of Toy Topics, remember, no matter what you collect, how you collect, just have fun collecting. No matter what you collect, how you collect, just have fun collecting. Sometimes I just miss the world before the internet. G.I. Joe, classified, Marvel Legends on my mind, Valiverse and Necker Time, Mythic Legends I must find, SH Figure Arts I can't lie, Rebel Tech got my pockets dry, Set Action Figures for life, Articulated Ninja is nice, yeah, you might wanna subscribe.